Hello, I'm Matthew Eshelman from Community IT, and we're here today to talk about MFA enrollment. First off, let's talk about what MFA actually stands for, which is multi-factor authentication. So this is the idea that to log into a system, you have something that you know, which is your password, along with something that you have, which is an app on your smartphone, in order to complete the authentication request. In terms of how it is going to affect you, whenever you log into a system, in addition to your password, you may be required to respond to an MFA challenge on your smartphone in order to complete the authentication request. We'll start off with this being applied to Office 365, but it may be applied to other services as well, including VPN access to the network. It shouldn't be too much of a distraction to respond to these MFA challenges as you'll just be responding to a push notification on your smartphone app. If you're accessing Office 365, you'll typically be prompted to respond to this MFA challenge about once every two weeks. That may be more frequent if you travel a lot or are working from different locations, such as coffee shop or uh, other public internet access sites. The good news is, is that you shouldn't be prompted for these MFA challenge, challenges while you're in the office. So why are we implementing MFA? The number one reason is to keep your online digital identity secure. We see that these types of account compromises are occurring regularly. At Community IT, over 90% of the account compromises that we responded to in 2020 were of accounts that did not have multi-factor authentication protection on their account. Each incident that we have to respond to uh, can potentially expose data at your organization, give somebody else access to your account, and disrupt the work that you do. It's also expensive to respond to these incidents because we need to go through, make sure that the adversary hasn't uh, accessed any sensitive information, uh, sent out, informa out emails on your behalf, or other actions that can be really difficult to remediate. So it's better that we can proactively protect your account with multi-factor authentication instead of reactively implementing it after you've already had an account compromise. We know from this research from Google's Project Zero that MFA protection is extremely effective against the automated bots and the bulk phishing attacks that we see most often in nonprofit organizations. So we'll be using the on-device prompt as a way to protect your account uh, this is more secure than the SMS messages or text-based messages. So enrolling with the Authenticator app will provide you a secure and fast way to protect your account from being hacked. The enrollment is very straightforward. The first step to take would be to install the Microsoft Authenticator app on your smartphone. So you can either go to the Google Play or the Apple App Store and download and install the application. It just takes a few megabytes and it's a free application. Once you have the application installed on your phone, then you can go to your computer, open up a web browser and go to aka.ms slash MFA setup. This process will allow you to link your uh, Office 365 account with your smartphone uh, and apply that multi-factor protection. Here we have a short video that will walk us through the step-by-step -step guide to enroll in MFA and install the application on our phone. Welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to register for multi-factor authentication. Cyber criminals can get into your account if they guess your password correctly, or sometimes they can trick you into sharing your password using a phishing email or use a stolen password that has leaked on the internet. To prevent bad guys from accessing your account, you have to set up another verification method to verify it is really you trying to access your account. This is called a secondary factor. Secondary factors include a call to your phone, a text message with a code to your phone, a push notification or verification code from an authenticator app such as the Microsoft 
authenticate their app, or a hardware token device. Registering for multi-factor authentication is easy. Go to aka.ms slash MFA setup. First, sign into your account with your username. Then enter your password. You will see you will have to register a secondary factor for your account. Click on Next. We will show you how to register the Microsoft Authenticator mobile app. Choose Mobile App from the drop-down list. Now, click Receive Notifications for Verification and click on Setup. This will start the configuration for your account to use the mobile app. You will see a QR code you have to scan with your phone to set up the app. Pull out your smartphone and open the Microsoft Authenticator app. Touch Add Account. Then touch Work or School Account. This will open the camera on your phone to scan the code on your computer screen. You may have to give the app permission to use the camera on your phone. The account is now added. Click on Next. Next, you will have to verify it worked. It will send a notification to your phone to approve. Remember, only approve notifications you know you initiated, like this one. Finally, enter a phone number in case you lose access to your mobile app. You need to choose your country code and enter your telephone number. Then click on Done. Congratulations, you are now configured to multi factor authentication. Thanks for watching. As you can see, the multi factor authentication enrollment process is very straightforward and easy to do. Now that we've gone through the guide, it's time for us to take the next steps. So we provided some links to documentation if you need another step-by-step -step guide. You can also watch the, just the video enrollment portion again and then take that next step and go to aka.ms slash MFA setup to complete your MFA enrollment process uh, once you get the Authenticator app installed on your phone. Hope that this video is helpful in helping you get your account set up with multi-factor authentication from Office 365.